Shadow with Q102. And I'm Jason with Brown Derby. It is Drinking 101, and today we're doing win winter, yeah, winter, winter beers. beers. Yeah, yeah. Here we are. It's the second week of January. How's your How's your New Year's resolutions going? They're already. It's already done. <laughs> I'm looking at these beers. Going. Do they have to be winter? Uh, they come out at winter. Uh, oh, so that's, that's... kind of why. But except for the, okay, the middle then. beer. Okay. Um, yeah, so they don't have to be winter, but they come out. Of they winter. come out. Win okay, makes so sense. That's I guess I really could have thought that one through. So one of the more popular ones uh, is Sierra Nevada Celebration Ale. Oh. Uh, they call it the celebration of the harvest, similar to what happens with wine. Uh, hops, as they are harvested, the idea now is to brew beer uh, with freshly harvested hops. Okay. Similar to what they do with the wineries. And you know, before our breweries were just. You know, they're bagging the hops, they're freeze drying them, they're doing this, they're doing that, they're right. sitting around forever. Now they're basically pulling them off the vine, putting them in the pot, and making oh. very fresh hop beer. So that's the where results, we get seasonals. Correct. Eh, not, not, well, yes uh, and no. Seasonals on the on the hop type, hopped beers, but seasonal beers, you know, pumpkin beers are seasonal, whatever that time of season okay. is. All so right. It doesn't always have to be the hops, I guess, for the seasons. But. Hmm. So the result is a much more floral, aromatic, um, well, that tastes like an IPA. <laughs> Which we all know is Shadow's <laughs> favorite. Yes, but I swear, I'm, I'm few and far between when it comes down to it. I mean, me and my friends, have, we actually do have conversations about beer nowadays. Um, and, yeah, it's like well, they all love IPAs. See, I stopped having conversations with them. I just say go to Drinking 101 on YouTube. Oh. I'm not, I'm not going to talk to you. It's Dude, That's it's got this I, marketing thing down. Yeah. Yes. I'm actually contractually obligated to not talk to you. You have to go to YouTube. So anytime a customer comes in? Oh, that's different. Oh, no, 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 I'm no. I'm talking no. about okay, like okay. Yeah, bars got it, got it. parties. So. Got it. All right, so. So this next one I'm actually a little excited about because I've actually never had it. Uh, but we do very well with it. And we were talking kind of before the shoot mm -hmm. uh, about fun beers that are in and news. This has actually been around for a little while, but it's hard to get because they don't make a lot of it. It's imported from England. Really? Yeah. Uh, and this is Wells Banana Bread Beer. They make a stick, sticky toffee beer, which we cannot that get. That sounds awesome, yeah. too. And this is their banana bread beer. So, yeah, I mean, I love banana bread. It's and I think the whole thing, the whole reason we got into this conversation because... Right. Smells was, like banana bread. Really? Yeah. I was talking about a, like a tiny brewery in Wisconsin that has um, chocolate banana stout. So that's not available down here. So we were like, all of a sudden he, he lights up and goes, we have banana bread beer. Yeah. I'm like, bring it. <laughs> Wisconsin, your, your childhood home. Oh my gosh, it really does smell like... It smells like banana bread. Oh, that's amazing. If, if this is amazing, I'm walking out with it. So let's see. Tastes like banana bread. That is liquid banana bread. It really is. And that's what it says on the side of the bottle. Fresh baked ale. It says liquid bananas. Somewhere I saw that on there. Yeah. Liquid banana. Liquid bread. That's what it's called. That's amazing. That is incredible how they do that. I don't know how they do that, but that's amazing how they do that. Here you go, camera guy. You want to try it? He was kind of making that yeah, face. Yeah, he, really he was making that, that face. Can I, can I drink yes, drink. We got more where that came from. So, our third beer is actually from the state of Missouri, O'Fallon. Everybody's familiar mm -hmm. with O'Fallon Brewery. They've been around for some time, right outside of St. Louis. And this beer is relatively new. It's only been around for a couple of winters. And this is their King Louis uh, Winter Stout beer. They call mm -hmm. it a toffee beer, and they make it with Bissinger's Chocolates, which is a chocolate uh, manufacturer out of St. Louis. We actually sell Bissinger chocolates here. Actually, that sounds amazing. Yeah. I'm pretty excited for this one, too. Could probably mix it with the... No. Oh, <laughs> let's, now you're going, let's not now go there. I'm crazy. starting to put the banana with the chocolate, chocolate and the toffee. Chocolate covered I, I feel bread. like I feel like this is just a big dessert waiting to happen. Yeah. This is uh, this is also quite nice. Mm, that's delicious. Now, IPAs maybe I do not love. Stouts I do, very much so. That's your Wisconsin roots. Right? You think? I always oh, thought my Wisconsin roots was like Miller Lite, 
And I guess that's probably probably true. whatever we could get cheapest in a quarter keg. Yeah. <laughs> Stroh's. Yeah. Old style. Milwaukee's best. Yeah, Heilman's. Well, I remember when PBR was not as beloved as it is now. If you ordered a PBR, you were poor. PBR has gone through a roller coaster. It's back on its, you know, pinnacle of popularity. But when the hipsters the start drinking point. Schlitz, then give me a call. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So you got a nice little toffee sweet stout. That's really good. There's nothing wrong. I might with that be beer. walking out with that too. We're gonna have to. Banana have bread to beer in. and yeah. the. What, you're going to have to check inventory? Yeah, well, we're going to have to check out at the register is what I'm saying. Oh. Sounds, like I'm going to walk. Like, sounds like you're just walking out the store. How about I'm going to grab these beers. Pay I'm for going them. to hand my debit card to the register Correct. and we're going to go from oh, there. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds good. How about we make a sale? Let's do that. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's make some How about I don't ruin Q102's number one client? <laughs> let's make some money today. All right. So last this last one. Least, this is a really special one. This is actually one beer that you're not going to be able to buy yet. So it's a Derby Deli. Beer. Those it is a Derby Deli. It's on mm -hmm. tap only. We will be doing an event with this beer. Uh, be paying attention to our Facebook page because it's going to happen probably in uh, late February, early March. This smells amazing. So this is our collaboration beer with Four Hands Brewery out of St. Louis. And we've had four hands on the show a couple times, mm -hmm. uh, different four hands beers. Uh, earlier in 2015, last year, we gave them several of our bourbon barrels uh -huh. that we purchased. And uh, one of them was a George Dickel barrel from uh, Tennessee. And then a couple of our other bourbon barrels, like a Jefferson's or an Eagle Ray or something along those lines. And then what they did is they took their bona fide beer, which is their uh, famous Imperial Stout with, made with coffee, and then they bourbon barrel aged it in a uh, one, the bourbon barrels that we gave them, and then they mm -hmm. took the three bourbon barrels and they blended it together. And we've got bottles that we're going to do an event with, and then we also have a few kegs that we have on tap. I can't place the smell. What am I smelling? That's so predominant. Um, you're getting a lot of that vanilla kind of. Um, that you get from bourbon. It smells like grandma's kitchen. If, 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 if grandma, grandma was boozing it up or it smells like it your grandma smells, was boozing it, it up. Seriously, it smells like like baking or something like that. That there's baking spices are, are yeah. prominent when you drink bourbon and whiskey. Um, you have those kind of kind of tastes like candy. It is. It's very sweet. It's That's a coffee stout aged in a bourbon barrel, so you get the vanilla notes from the bourbon. You get the uh, so you're gonna be having bitterness. A... We're gonna be doing an event to sell the bottles. Is this available right now? It is available by the glass at the Derby Deli. At the Derby Deli, but we will be okay. selling. We'll be doing an event with um, coming up soon. So like us on Facebook, um, where we'll do the announcement that we will have a rep here in town and we'll actually sell the bottles. You won't be. I mean, you're talking about. One bottle per person, uber rare, never been, they've never barrel aged their bona fide beer before. Wow. So this is a special treat. It's tasty. You might not want to miss that event. All right. It's drinking. perfect for wintertime. Oh, yeah, and wintertime. That's right. I'm like, you can drink beer any time of the year. It's kind of like wearing like white after. Labor Day? Is that what you're not yeah, supposed to do? I do that all Or the time. eating chili in the summer? Yeah, I do that too. It's all BS. Yeah. Drink, drink all year round. Cheers. Amen.